What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Philadelphia at Lapstone and Hammer with NBA Hall of Famer and style icon Allen Iverson. Hip hop and basketball is like peanut butter and jelly. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then uh, hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Well, you dress up and look like a superhero. You yeah. play like one. Let's do it. Let's go. So, Alan, I want to talk growing up. Do you remember your first pair of good sneakers? My favorite, when I was young, I went, we was going to a national tournament, 13 and under AAU. I remember my mom got me the uh, Revolutions, Nike Revolutions. Yeah. I was wearing like a seven or something like that, and they only had an eight and a half. I wore them, so <laughs> I still wanted them. That's how bad I wanted them. Double socks or? Nah, it, it was just, you know, my foot my foot just moved around a whole bunch in them. And um, I, I definitely remember it vividly because um, our lights got turned off. Okay. Um, for her getting them for me, so. Shout out for, to Big Mama. There's a story that you told when you first saw a kid wearing your signature sneakers, you actually pulled over on the side of the road. Questions, yeah. He was in my rear view. Like, I, when I saw it, I pulled over and I just watched him in my rear view, you know what I mean, until he was out of sight. That was the first time that I saw a kid with my sneaks on, you know what I mean? It was just a monumental moment, something that I'll cherish and uh, remember for the rest of my life. I was that kid right. that wanted the Jordans. You know, I wanted them because, you know, Mike was my hero. How do you feel about other people's signatures besides Mike's? Do you think it was you and him, a close first and second, or did you think there were some other dope ones as well? I definitely think it was me and him first and second. You know, that was always my competition. So when we went into the meetings to create new shoes, I always, you know, I had to put my input in, you know, with him in mind, knowing he was gonna come out with something dope. So, Alan, in college, you wore a lot of Jordans, especially the 11s you wore, the Concords. When you got into the league, did you feel you had to stop? I had no choice. I had a contract. <laughs> Do you think it's ever okay for another player to wear another person's signature playing against them, even in today's game? I don't see nothing wrong with it. I had to deal with it when I played. You know, guys had my sneakers on playing against me. I mean, it's the way the sneaker feel, the way the sneaker look. The better you look, the better you play. It's true. And you, you were, were, you were so, the pioneer of, of yeah. style. Like I tried to add some flavor to it, man. You know, same as what Mike did. I I, I got it from him. I, I bit off him. Saw so how fly he was in his uniform and with his sneakers or whatever. You know, you dress up and look like a superhero. You yeah. play like one. Absolutely. One specific colorway I want to talk about. These, this is Georgetown colorway. Did you wish that these were around for you to wear in college? This is definitely a you know homage that. to you. You already know that. You know, I get jealous of them young heads. You know what I mean? They got a chance to get different flavors. I wish those were around back then. I could look at them and, and think of how I would have done it. Right. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. All right, let's walk over here. Let's talk some Reebok. Cameron has his own Reebok. That's my dude too. Yeah, Kendrick yeah. Lamar has his own Reebok, but Jay and 50 had their own Reebok deals. Right. A lot of people say, I tend to agree, do you think those deals happen if you don't usher in this era of I don't swag? Know. I don't know, um, I could be cocky and take <laughs> um, credit for it, but I don't know it'll happen eventually anyway, because you know, hip hop and, um, and basketball is like peanut butter and jelly. It might have happened anyway. I'm just glad that I was the first one to, Definitely. to do it. Um, we see the Hall of Fame colorway. You wore the Bape colorway, I think returning to Philadelphia. Do you ever wish you could play in the Bape questions or in the new Big Three? You know, definitely wish I could have had a chance to, to rock them. And that makes sense too with the, uh, the Big Three. I get a chance to do some things that you know, I would have loved to do back then. My whole thing is to um, go out there and and coach stuff get out of hand and I go in the phone booth. <laughs> Superman? Yeah. Turn into that guy. 
one thing that resonates with everyone who's a fan of you is how organic your style is. It's always been real and that translates to people being a fan of you, but also to shoe selling. How important do you think it is to be authentic to yourself? Honestly, point blank, where did you get the swag from? I think um, being authentic is the most important thing in life. Mm -hmm. It should be easy to be yourself. You know what I mean? That's the easiest part of life is being you. I look at my mom and my dad and you know, I feel good about the person that they raised. Mm -hmm. It's the way it's, a, it's, it's supposed to be. You know, I always look in the mirror every morning and be satisfied with, um, with who I am. We have these, the questions and the answers, the step over and the crossover. Do you get sentimental with sneakers? Do you have any pairs that you saved from those moments? Nah. No. Um, I mean, looking at this now, does it Yeah, resonate? it bring back, it, it bring back memories, obviously. You know what I mean? When you, when you look at them, but they're around my crib anyway. Like my kids wear them. It's a big deal to my kids. Yeah. And that's what makes it cool to me. Something that's new to the NBA is the cameras with the people walking in so much in social media and every big game is like a fashion show. Do you wish that was around when you were still playing? Nah, because, um, you know, they, they changed it up on me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, the dress code. They, uh, they changed everything up on me and um, I wasn't happy about that, you know what I mean? Because I wanted to dress like I dressed. And I didn't think anything was wrong mm -hmm. with the way I was dressing, but everybody else started to do it. But then when you look at how it is now, it, it's supposed to be a dress code for that that they be wearing now. It's, it's way out there. Yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm totally dumbfounded and confused about how you could make a dress code for what I had on um, compared to what these cats wearing today. Now you see guys wearing cornrows and guys with tattoos and stuff like that. And, you know, I took the ass whooping for it. Right. But, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm happy I did it because, you know, it helped those guys out. Alan, you were one of a kind when you played and even now. Is there anyone that you feel in today's game resembles that same persona or even a little bit of the persona you had? When it come to heart, it's just, that's a no-brainer, it's Westbrook. So, Alan, we talked about everything. Now it's the easy part. You get the browser shell, see what you're feeling. Definitely, let's do it. Hall of Fame joints. I already got a pair of these, though. I'm gonna try these, because they cams, man. These special to me, because this is the one and only time I went to the finals. And all season long, I, I did these in so many different flavors. It was crazy. I had like 20-something different styles. Throwback joints made me feel good. Gotta have these Jada Kiss joint. Get these originals. Oh, I'm gonna take it all the way back to high school. These right here. Yeah. I got you, bro. Right there. All right. It's gonna be 455. So as you guys can see, Alan came through, bought a bunch of sneakers. Thanks for coming through, man. My Appreciate man. the awesome combo. All right.